Geo Partner, we have the Lee's Foundation for Research and Environmental Education for short, be free. Um, for them, we have the Hikati Science Fellow, Mr. Barney Hall, who will be giving that presentation. Um, round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. I was hoping that the fisheries department didn't go before me. <laughs> because when I got an email, it said that if you could just do a five minute presentation on the laws of Belize, I was like, uh, if the fisheries, I mean, yeah, the fisheries department go before me, then it's going to be a problem because I knew they would hit that very deep. But I'm going to do something completely different now <laughs> in case that happens. So, yeah, my name is Barney Hall. I am the current science and education. Um, fellow at Be Free. This is what I am um, in is a two year um, working experience at Be Free. Uh, I work with researchers out in the field. Specifically, I work with wildlife. And the choice that we work with is Hikiti. Um, I work at the Hikiti Conservation Research Center most of the time, which is, uh, which is located at the Be Free field station. And um, we care, like we do the daily activities with the turtle feeding it. And um, some of our goals there at the Higiti Conservation Research Center is, first of all, having a very healthy assurance colony as a part of, of our conservation strategy, because um, it's a critically endangered species, which means uh, it's listed number five in the ranks of IUCN. Um, after that, it's extinct in the wild, so we do need that. Um, Assurance colony in case that uh, the Hikite might deplenish, we do still have at be free. And um, another one uh, very, that's very important is research. Uh, we welcome different researchers to be free from different parts of the world. And um, what we've, um, what another thing that's very important is our rewilding program as well. Um, we released successfully 417 Hikite over a duration of three years. And um, we've successfully hatched over 1,200 um, Hikite hatchlings at the facility. Uh, we currently keep them. And currently at the facility, we have uh, 29 females and 17 healthy males. And while I was looking at the statistics on um, when they nest and like the mating behind it, I see um, it's more in March. But at the facility, we what we've uncovered is that um, when it comes to mating, that's more September, October, and the time that we the first clutch of eggs that we've collected for last year was on October 27th. We're out um, this year, January 17th was the last clutch that we've collected, and. Um, so we haven't had any in the dry season as yet. We just finished um, working on the pond, getting it to a level uh, more natural. So we're hoping that um, for the first time in uh, four years that they've been hatching in um, this late season that we could collect a double clutch, with, which would be really amazing at Be Free because we have not had that as yet. And um, yeah. This year we're um, launching, it's been in process for like four years at Be Free that um, working in the action plan, uh, what's next in conservation for the Sikiti. And finally, we're proud to say that with our partner, the Turtle, Turtle Survival Alliance in the United States, we've been finally granted uh, a grant. We've, we've received it and we're in the process now of purchasing vehicles, boats, uh, all the tools needed to conduct a countrywide survey and also collect tissue samples and blood. And um, I'm proud to say that in the summer, we're about to unlaunch this and we're looking for volunteers if anybody is interesting, interested, if they have the time. Um, and something else that's, we have an open vacancy right now at Be Free. We're looking for a... <laughs> yeah, so I'm... I'm moving from um, being the Hikiti Fellow on site at Be Free to researching. Um, I'm going to be the person that's out with Mr. Tom Pop, um, the Hikiti manager at, at the facility. Me and him will be out doing the um, surveying, like targeting different areas to survey. So 
we need a new person at the facility if anybody's um, interested. Um, so um, yeah, uh, we we we're targeting um, somebody that just um, graduated with an associate's degree and um, wants this like wants a training opportunity. Uh, working like I said with researchers, um, they will be um, creating reports um, on a six month basis about the facility, and also um, this year we're going to publish all our findings over the eight year duration at B3, so they will be working um, in publishing as well. But um, it could change your life forever because <laughs> you have to move like, and camp at B3 for a duration of two years. So it's something very, it's amazing. I adapted very well because I'm from Tainasa, but now I'm living at B3, home like one time for the month, which I really don't mind because in the forest, there's just so much you can do and I've adapted very well. So that's a vacancy that's open for anybody um, that's interested. And, um. I was supposed to talk about the laws, but I think that has been covered. So um, I, would just, I just wanted to share about what we do at B3 and about the Hikiti. Thank you, everybody.